hi guys and girls and everybody watching this so here's another episode of the h talks comics from that combat sports all right let's get straight to it kid galahad versus josh warren and here's what i'm going to say first up I, I can see why people are saying it's a robbery i can understand why those people are saying it's a robbery shouting robbery but it's in my opinion and i'm going to be very unbiased as well um i'd say i can see why you think it's a robbery but i just think it was the wrong decision but i can see it going for warren as well basically um anyone who watched the fight would be honest you saw kid galahad's movement like there's lots of like basically every time warren would come in with a wild hook kid would duck he'd get out of the way he'd out of either an uppercut or a cross he'd um maybe in the start time he'd actually sat for but then he'd switch to orthodox he'd literally almost every single time not all the time obviously he got a few um got a few flush with jaw and obviously got a cut Mm, cut that, not really cut up with Bruce on his eye. But if you notice, literally, Warren was going in, the kid was moving back. And the thing is, that is skillful boxing. A lot of people are saying, by a lot of people, I mean like the Leeds fans and the Warren fans, are saying, oh, he's holding a lot. And he was. But then they hold him clinching, you can still win. I'm not saying it's exciting, I'm not saying it's the most exciting form of boxing, but you hold, you clinch, you engage, you disengage, you punch, you hold, disengage, punch, in, out. And if you look on in and out movement, kid, kid won that 100%. If you look on in terms of actual um, power punches, I'd say it's quite equal. And the last two rounds, were, he did have the, he had the stamina and he did put it on. The last two rounds particularly. Before that, he, he could even call it a draw because oh, I don't know. At stages, at stages, I had like kid six, yeah, about six, three up. No, let me think, let me think. Because it was, it was six three, six twelve, yeah, six three. So the last in. Probably a draw, kid winning if I'm being honest. Because even if you give him those two, that's six five. He didn't get any points deducted. You could just mm, was it was it six six? I don't know. I don't know. I can do you know what? I can really understand it both ways. I was at work, but I was watching it. Um, it was no commentary, so I don't know if this makes me not biased or more biased. I'll let you guys um, let me know on that one. But I can see both sides. I'll be honest. Like obviously, in terms of the cleaner punches from what i could see on tv it did look like kid was getting the cleaner punches but then if you look at volume it did look like josh, josh but the joshua did look like josh was getting the more volume 100 percent last two rounds he had those two little flurries and the flurries did connect um there's also times when he was disengaging and then he would land a quick one two on kid so uh, it's hard mate so the style stylistically i like kid's style like i'm an actual sound boy with he switches up from Southport to Orthodox really quickly, really, really adeptly. I appreciate that. It's like Tyson Fury is a model as well. I love it. I love it. Any fight, I can change stance. I can. Obviously, I don't know why I'm an actual Southport, so I find it harder to switch to Orthodox, but obviously, I still can do. Um, it's, not, it's not overly hard, it's just, it just makes it more trickier for your opponent to get your timing right. But in terms of timing, Josh did better than I thought, to be honest. He timed Kid a few times. Obviously, Kid got that one off a cut. I can't remember, was it round six, round seven? That was a, that was a really nice shot. But yeah, I can see it both ways, honestly. Like, I, I think Kid probably could have won it, but if he did, uh, see, for me, a robbery is like um, Katie Taylor versus Delphine Pierce. That was more of a robbery or Furious as well. Like, well, that was no doubt 10 to 2. Like, let's be honest, at worst, 9 to 3. So that's a pure robbery. The kid fight, I don't know if I call it a robbery, but I can understand if you want to. Nothing against you if you want to. But I can see what you've got here, and you've got to think he had the title, he was at Leeds, at his ground. I'm not saying that's an excuse, it shouldn't be, but that's what happens in boxing. We were, we were all boxing fans, if you're watching boxing from a young age, we all know what happens. Um, yeah, just a quick one, guys, nothing nothing overly major. I just thought, I want to know what you guys think. So, like, for me, I'm not going to class it as a breakdown, uh, as a robbery. I'm going to say it's a win, it's a close win, it's a tight win, but I'm not going to class it as a, I'm not going to go around chatting robbery. But if you guys do, I understand that as well. Um, let me know what you guys think. Where does Kid Galahad go from here? Um, looks like Warren wants Leo Santa Cruz. I think Russell Jr. I think Gary Russell Jr. Jr. would definitely beat him on that performance. Gary Russell Jr. I think is better than Kid Galahad. Faster as well. So I definitely think he doesn't want to fight Gary Russell Jr. So get Leo Santa Cruz, get another title, then fight Russell Jr. I think Russell Jr. If anything, that fight showed me he can probably become an undisputed champion. Don't know where Kid goes from here, honestly. Uh, maybe he fights Frampton in the future. I think he could actually beat Frampton as well, to be fair. Probably beat him pretty soundly. We'll see, though. Um, cheers, guys. And also, if you're watching this, it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the dads out there.